Hi everyone, this is a rough sketch of a druid sword for a project I'm working on. In this video, I'm going to show you the process I used for going from this sketch to an actual 3D model. I had already made the blade in Blender before I decided to make this video. So I exported the blade from Blender and imported it into Sculptress so I could organically model the hilt. Since the hilt is supposed to be made of a wood material, I felt it would be easier for me to sculpt it out. I know Blender has some sculpting capabilities, but I'm more comfortable working with Sculptress for this part of the design. At first I start to put a lot of detail as you can see. I was going to model out all the detail of the hilt and give them form, but it would create a lot of unnecessary polygons, and I knew that I could actually achieve a similar look uh, with just the texture later on. Here I am fleshing out the guard-like section of the hilt, making sure to keep the detail level low. For my project, I want to keep the polygon count low for all assets to make sure the final product has low system requirements. I'm creating the hilt in sections. While this may create more work later on for me, I felt it would let me have more control and it would kind of act like a checkpoint, keeping me from possibly ruining some of the hilt that I was already satisfied with and have already completed. With the handle you can see me adding some detail to get the shape how I would like. Adding, subtracting, and smoothing all play a part in this digital sculpting process. Now that I have the shape, I go through and start to simplify the handle by removing polygons. This takes away a lot of the detail, but that detail will be added by my flat textures later on.
The pommel was a bit tricky. Looking back at the sketch as I was sculpting, I wasn't sure how to go about handling, creating how I wanted to look. Trying to shape it in Sculptress would have created a lot of unnecessary polygons, and that would have been problematic, so I decided to just keep it simple and smooth it out. Once I felt the hilt was as far as I could take it in Sculptress, I exported it as an OBJ file and imported it back into Blender. Now I had the task of combining all necessary meshes for the hilt. I would delete the faces I didn't need, merge vertices, and recreate needed faces. The process that I used for the faces was a bit convoluted, as I would extrude edges and merge vertices. Since recording this though, I have learned a much easier way of creating faces by selecting the vertices and pressing the F key. While combining the separate meshes, I would also go through and find areas I felt I could simplify the number of faces or make adjustments to, as well as delete any faces that would never be seen for the sake of performance. After finishing this video, I went back and made a few more changes. I used extrusion to make the wood pieces stick off of the pommel, cleaned up the meshes some more, and added some materials. Here is the final weapon rendered with just materials for now.